Jeezo, Weezo. How you doing, bud? You wanna go home? I wanna go home. We gotta go all the way down to Georgia first, though. We have good news for today. The part came in for the truck. It's waiting over there at Peterbilt. They're about to throw it on the truck so that we can get going. And it came in earlier than expected, too. So let's get over there. We got a long way to go today yet. Truck is in the shop right now. We're just waiting for him to finish up and we should be on the way. It's already nighttime, but we're finally ready to go, Diesel. Finally on the road. Took them all day. Uh, they had some issues, problems. One of the bolts broke and they needed something. I don't know. Took all day. The time is now six o'clock here, Atlantic time, five o'clock. Uh, Eastern time. Let's hook up to our trailer. It's just behind me. I just have to take off the uh, kingpin lock and I can hook onto that, roll up the dollies, and we'll start making our way down to Georgia. See how far we get tonight yet. We're probably not going to get very far, but let's see if we can get far enough tonight that I can deliver on Friday still so that I don't have to wait until Monday. Otherwise, I'm going to be down there waiting all weekend again. Another two days off. So let's try not to let that happen. <laughs> let's, let's get going here. Let's get this done so what the kingpin lock is is there's that underneath the trailer that little pin for those of you who don't know anything about trucks and trailers you know that little pin that hooks into the fifth wheel behind the truck it's on the trailer that's called a kingpin uh what i do is i put it's called a kingpin lock it's a big metal object like a, a ring that goes around that kingpin and it locks on there what it does it makes it real it just widens it really and with it being that wide, no other truck can hook up to the trailer. So it's kind of like a lock on the trailer. And especially since I have a load sitting in there still, I didn't want anybody, anybody, you know, getting any funny ideas running away with my peat moss. Because God knows everybody would love to have a whole load of peat moss in their garage, I'm sure. <laughs> but just in case, you know, I have the trailer locked and bolt sealed. And the kingpin lock on was on there so no one could take it. So I'm gonna quickly go quickly go get that all done and we need to get out on the road. We need to get this done. Alright, so when you go under the trailer here, there's the kingpin lock. Right there. I gotta take that off. And then I put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't get grease all over my truck. Okay, that's what it looks like. And then that thing hangs down from it so that people know that there's a a kingpin lock and said I remember so that I don't back up onto it and damage my fifth wheel or anything. Let's fill that trailer up with air. Let's do our pre trip on our lights here. All right, signal light here working. Suspension filling up with air. It's going to make a couple of clangs very soon. Tires are inflated. Marker light is on. ABS light is off. Signal lights are working. Wait for it. Brake lights are working. Good stuff. Good stuff. Check this one too. Come on. Come on. There you go. Marker light. Tires inflated. Any other stuff, tightly tied in. Marker light working. Wait, wait for the signal light to start. Come on, show me the signal. There it is. Just gotta talk to it nicely like that. Make it feel special. High beams are working. And low beams and signals. All right, everybody. I'll wave goodbye to Peterbilt Fredericton. Let's make sure my trailer is attached. Let's do a brake check. And spike brakes. All right, here we go. Off to Georgia at last. Hopefully, we don't run into any more problems. Right on, Hadwell Road, Highway 640. 
Well, you know, this is another memory and experience for the books. We stayed at the Radisson Motel here in uh, Fredericton. It's actually a very nice, very well-priced hotel. And it's the closest one to the Peterbilt dealership. That's why I picked it. Because I needed something within walking distance. Here we are back on the Trans-Canada. Just merged on. Alright, so I'm going to go to the Irving uh, right close by Woodstock. I think, I think that's where the town is called there. They have a Timmy's. I had a Timmy car uh, delivered to the Peterbilt dealership. They gave it to me while I was there. Someone had dropped it off for me. So thank you to whoever that was. I appreciate all your kindness out here. I really do. Sure does feel good to be rolling again. Let's knock on wood. Nothing else is going to go wrong. Got about six full days of driving ahead of us. Six to seven days. And then we'll be home. I don't know if you're going to be able to read this sign here or not, but that says Interstate 95 Southbound. We have just entered the beautiful state of Maine. I hope there's not any snow waiting for us up ahead here. Let's see how far we get tonight. Not going to make it to New York City, I can tell you that much. We'll uh, go past there tomorrow. Welcome to Maine, the way life should be. That's their slogan. I like that, the way life should be. See now, this is so handy and so easy. They have the easy pass toll roads here in the US. All I do is I just slowly drive through here and try not to take my mirrors off. And there you go. This guy's gonna blow through and try to get in front of me. There's a guy to my left. Oh, that's narrow. Man, they couldn't make it like two inches wider, eh? literally parked in the driveway. Dude, Turn you're gonna off. make me drive up on the grass to get around you? That's not so cool. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, look at this dude. Park here, though. That's why people are parking in the driveway. Continue on this road for 90 kilometers. Gotta do what you gotta do, eh? I get it. I still got some time yet before I have to find a parking spot, but I knew it was gonna be a little difficult to find one because we came down here so late. I am so lucky to have found a parking spot. Wow, like the last one. And I just barely fit, but we made it work. We made it work. So, crazy election night, right? Uh, it's not over yet at the time I'm filming this, apparently. Uh, there's all kinds of surprise stuff happening and hopefully it all turns out the way uh, 
You guys want it to down here. You guys are great. You guys are great neighbors, all right? And uh, no matter what happens, you guys will make it through, all right? You guys have made it through a lot worse in the past. So you guys can do it. Anyways, with that all aside, I'm going to hit the road on the next day. Thanks for watching today. It was a very short video, right? It was all day at the shop. I got there in the morning, or no, about midday, and I thought it was just going to take about an hour or two to get the, the part replaced. But uh, something else broke along with like they, a bolt, and they needed a special tool to get that bolt out or something. That took a couple of extra hours. It took longer than it should have. I wasn't very impressed with that, but they did all they could. I mean, it was out of their control. Now we're on the road. And we'll make a much longer video for you tomorrow, so I hope you, you don't, uh, I hope you don't miss it. <laughs> Take care, everybody.